The folks at Ken Oliver Crafts, you know, they're the ones that brought us those wonderful color bursts. Well, they have something new. It's called liquid metals. And well, it is different. <laughs> it is different. It's not a powder the way right. color burst is. It is a metallic powder mixed with a liquid pigment. Like that. Huh? Like, like that. that. <laughs> and it's kind of hard to describe, so I really just want to show you yeah. what we've done with it. Okay, so come, come play, play with, with us. us. Here are the six beautiful colors. They are they? beautiful, and they're going to leave a very metallic shimmer to your okay. projects. So while it might be hard to explain, <laughs> at least you'll know that it does that. Six different colors. It comes in metallic rose, jade, saffron, amethyst, sky, and mandarin. Okay, so we'll scoot those aside. These are the Thank containers you. just like the color bursts. So right. they're the little plastic ones. They're They've got the mm -hmm. needle nose they've, Yeah, top. they've got that small top. Yeah. They've got 0.5 fluid ounces in each one, which really does go a long way. Okay, mm -hmm. so here is our first card. And I think you can start seeing that metallic look that is going on. So that was, there you can see, nice and close. We have some of the floral fantasy dazzles on this. Absolutely and beautiful. Isn't and it gorgeous? It is, and this is really the simplest way to use it. You start by just using as, at a, as a background and place a focal like dazzles okay. on top of it so you can see through okay. to what you've created. Show us, show so us. So I've got watercolor <laughs> paper here, and we're going to do this with cardstock as well, but today, right now it's watercolor okay. paper three of the colors, the metallic jade, sky, and saffron. And I'm gonna start with that blue, metallic sky. And oh, I wanna close it back up because you have to shake them up first. That's going oh. to get that metallic powder dispersed all so throughout just a little the liquid. Bit. Yeah, just okay. a little bit, just to get it flowing around there. And then just start adding drops. So you see, it's, it's a liquid, it's not the same as color burst. You don't really need very much. It's going to go a long way. A little of that. Here you want to open up sure. the yellow. I'll shake it first. Sure, okay. <laughs> and then just a little bit of the green, just a little. And I, you see that I'm doing this in opposite corners. I kind of feel like that's what um, that's what was done for this card. Where do you card. want yellow? Oh, I don't you know. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> just sort of wherever this one. I'll just be really kind of judicious with okay. the yellow because they are going to mix. I'm going to add a little bit of water, which is what helps this mix. Oh, and that's right. I Go wanted ahead. to I wanted to spritz the the paper first before I did that. Oh, okay. But I'll do that on uh, some other project that we're going to do. And then you just add a little water. Now this does start blending, but it doesn't blend quite as much as. If you had color burst, it would just all flow together. Right. So you sort of have to give this a little nudge, and you can just go in there and sort of move it around a little bit. Oh, that's the nudge. That's the little nudge. And there's different ways of doing that. In this case, I'm using my Ooh. finger and sort of making it move around. And then after, I think if I add a little bit more water, then it will actually do it's it a, a little bit It's a very saturated color. It is. I mean, they're very... Um, striking. Right, well, they're very, uh, yeah, saturated is a good word for it. it it's very, it, there's the, <laughs> I can't come up with another word, <laughs> but there, you can see the luminescence. Can you yeah. see, look as I do this, you can see that the metal metallic powder just moving around and that's what leaves that beautiful shine. And so anyway, let that dry. Once okay. it's dry, go ahead and put the dazzles on it. Right. And you're going to get a different look every time. You can combine different colors. Which is really the fun of it is that you right. are going to get a different look. And I think that dazzles, of course, do make a really beautiful uh, topping over that liquid right. metal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is one method. So this is step one. Now we're going to go into step two as okay. you're cleaning that off. <laughs> now this is obviously using different colors and I'm hoping that you can see that luminescence oh, that, that you were beautiful? describing. Oh yeah, just you can really see it just sitting on top. That's what I like about this is when it's done drying, that uh, shininess doesn't go away. It right. just sort of sits on top of your project. In fact, it looks more iridescent when it dries mm -hmm. than when it's wet. Right. Now this is using a little stamp. This is our little dragonfly. 
and um, looks like you're ready for this I one. I am. Okay. So I've got cardstock, and here it was embossed with that small dragonfly with white embossing powder. So I'm going to turn it until you can <laughs> see it. Um, it's over the entirety of the card. You're just going to um, uh, use a white embossing powder, super fine embossing powder. Get those little dragonflies and little squirrelies all over. Now I've got that onto my craft sheet. I'm going to start by spritzing that with a little bit of water. Now that's okay. what I would have liked to have done on the watercolor paper too. It just helps it disperse right. a little better. Okay. And then I'm going to start adding a little bit of color around, just in different areas, just a few. And that's the sky that you're using? This is sky. I also have the amethyst and the rose. And here we go. <laughs> I'll just hold it down. <laughs> yeah, when it gets wet, it kind of does that. So just a little bit of that. And what's nice about this is that it is going to resist over that embossing. You're going to get it mixed around just a little bit. So once we start mixing this, you'll see. And another, a different way of mixing this, after I'm going to spritz it here with a little water, you can see it starting to go yeah. out. I've got a paper towel in this case, and I'm going to just start moving it around. So this is what Debbie did with this card. And she said she started moving it around with the paper towel. I, I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking that she kind of swiped it a little bit yeah. when she did this. That does not look anything like what she did. So, <laughs> so we're she gonna said, keep going. <laughs> if you don't get the look that you want, then start adding more of the drops. And okay. they will fill in. But you can see that it goes around the, uh, the butterflies that you're seeing. I think in this case, you have to add a little bit more to make sure that it's covered everywhere. Let's and to go into those areas, yeah, those fine right. areas. So let's do that, add a little bit more water. And I think this is really one of the things that you do with this type of product is that you're not perfectly duplicating what, you know, a project. What you're doing is the technique and it is going to kind of morph right. as it chooses. Sure. And okay, so we're getting more of the iridescent. You get a little bit yeah. more. And you're getting, you can see where it really makes the dragonflies pop when you it go does. around it. She said after she got that background looking the way she wanted, she went in and specifically put the colors that she wanted right on the dragonfly wing. So if oh. I do that and add a little bit of water and sort of pounce that in, then that gets, you get like a highlight okay. of that pink right around. Just wherever you want right, it. Right, wherever you so want it. So there is some it, measure so. of control. Right, right. <laughs> well, let so, me bring the project back in and you can see that that variety of colors has been blended and then uh, the little stamp has a message, lift your spirit. And that's been also uh, heat embossed on white and then the purple was used um, over it. So right. just really pretty. And in the background there is the purple circles um, holographic. holographic. It's a nice little uh, edge it statement is. on there. It just really kind of adds that flash uh, against the iridescent. So really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. Now here's a very different look. And oh, this is. Oh, oh wait, oh, I, I'm not I have to ask you to go back okay. and open up that card. Oh, I will. Oh. <laughs> a little, little something different on the inside. <laughs> yes. So, on the inside, same technique she used with that dragonfly, except with this one, she used dazzles. Right, so the Zen dragonfly dazzles. And isn't that striking? And she started by putting it on cardstock. And then she did the same thing as she did the other one. She said she just put a few drops of okay. each color on there, and then she just um, spritzed it with water and mixed it around with the paper towel. Well, that was dramatic, as it <laughs> <laughs> And you do need to pounce it inside if you don't put the drops on the dazzles, right. because otherwise the dazzle will stop it right. from getting That's onto right. the inside. So there it is. So once you've done that, little piece of yeah, the dry like piece that. there, <laughs> then you can just pretty. cut that out around the outer edges, and you can see that Ooh. shimmer. So that was pretty quick, too. Yeah. Just let that dry, then cut it out, and you I have like that. that. I like that. I like that. the blue on that one, Isn't too. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So scatter your dreams on dragonfly wings that message is also part of the dazzle set so I'm glad you you said that before <laughs> I brought out the next one yeah. now I'm going to do that okay so here we have really pretty now this is using the uh, 11 labels and trims cutting die 
matched with the labels and trim stamp. Isn't that and beautiful? Uh, by the way, this fall we're going to have a Christmas version. Ooh, just that's right. That. Oh yeah, yes. it, it's beautiful actually. <laughs> I know what it's going to look like. <laughs> okay, moving on. So the liquid metals have been used almost like a paint here. Well, definitely like a paint. Very simple to do. All you have to do for this, and let me see if I actually I can do that. I was going to do it for another one but I'll do okay. it for this one. So just get your cardstock out. You can take some blue or green, whatever you're going to use, put a little bit of that on there. I would definitely add a little bit of water. It's gonna sure. help it to go further while it's inching toward my paper. And then you just use a kind of a oh. wide flat brush. So it's just a wash. It's just a wash. So you can do that okay. all the way across your paint, across your uh, cardstock. And when you're done, you can go ahead, let that dry, and then stamp directly on that. And, and there you have it. Do your cutting die and then your stamping. So you've got the uh, blue and the saffron and, and the, the jade. jade. Right, very Beautiful. pretty. Now this is on the colorist paper. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really pretty that um, this, just the flower has been painted, painted in. Painted in too, yeah. yeah. So those are very e easy to paint in with this. You can use it as a paint. You can use it just as that background. Very I pretty. like both of those techniques. And you do get that iridescent quality. Now inside this card, also, that's still the color is scrapbooking papers. And again, same thing. They've been colored in and just that border has been used. Right. Just really pretty. A very nice effect. Yeah, very sweet. Neat. I love all of the cutting dies that go with that. They, they actually <coughs> cut out those smaller elements on the inside, too. Oh, that's too. right. Because, the little bird, the mm -hmm. little dragonfly. So you don't have to do the fussy cutting. There you go. That's part of the cutting die. There you go. You can see that. And so there you go. Now, this is the colorist. We also have <coughs> Color Me paper. Now, right. you may remember that this is, it's like it's already been heat embossed. And so we have two sheets here. This is the fanciful sparkles, and this is the uh, feathers, feathers, borders, and uh, tags. And that's fun. And well, actually, <laughs> This is what is beautiful. Oh my goodness, look at that. So here we have the finished uh, scrapbook page, and it is just stunning. It is. It's, be it's a beautiful look. You can see that's just swiped on basically back right. there. I can show you how we did that, but it is a fantastic backdrop for such a beautiful photo. It is. It's very stunning. And then you can just add those smaller pieces that they've been painted as well and then cut out and the label has been journaled on, so what a nice effect. So you would do this like how you just demonstrated with I'm the paintbrush? Totally different. Oh, okay. Totally different, okay. <laughs> even easier maybe than <laughs> Okay. <laughs> We're starting with the craft sheet, nice big craft sheet. We're gonna back out so we can see that. <coughs> and we're going to start with three colors, sky, mandarin, and rose. And we're just gonna start putting drops all oh. over. And this is what Lene did. She just makes sure that she had <laughs> drops everywhere on her paper. Of course this is a 12 by 12 paper so. Right, so you have to make sure that it's big enough to yeah. affect the whole area. I think I'm going to do just a little bit of blue. I'm not okay. going to let it overpower. And okay, once we've got it on there, let's see, I want to make sure spritz a little bit. I'm going to spritz just a little bit of water okay. so that it will uh, saturate nicely. Kind of flow. Then we take the entire piece, the 12 inch tw by 12 inch piece, and just lay it straight down. You're going to press it down a Are you little bit. It at all? Nope, no? but okay. I am going to drag it. Okay. Let's see, hold that side okay. down for me and drag it across. <laughs> That's what Lene did. Ah, she said if you've oh. missed any spots, you can sort of hit it back on there and try to get those edges up at the top. And she says you can use your fingers and sort of dab in areas okay. where she felt, felt it needed to be mixed a little bit more. But oh, I can see, that's exactly. Look. And that shimmer is wow. on there. It's just sitting on the top. How pretty. And then is here pretty. is uh, her sliding and dripping and swiping <laughs> and the end result. And as you probably know, we have the Color Me in 12 by 12 papers. We also have them in the card toppers. So the smaller size, although you could take this and make four different cards out of it, as you probably sure. know. Sure, that's so, a good idea. Right, <laughs> very, very pretty, very striking. Okay, mm -hmm. now we have another technique and using another item. And that's what I love, is when products are so versatile. Right. This is 
gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? So pretty. And now that has been embossed <clears throat> with an embossing folder. Here we go, with the framed floral, which right. is a new embossing folder. And it has happy everything on it, too. Right, and it was used, so the entire embossing folder was used on one piece of cardstock. Black cardstock. Black uh -huh. cardstock. And then I believe the <clears throat> pink and it looks like the, the jade. jade were used. And Susan simply painted them on. So she just took the time to paint with on, a paintbrush, with a, paintbrush okay. a small paintbrush, uh, on top of that embossed area. Wow, that's really pretty. Yeah, so that's kind of a, a work of art, but you can just sort of follow <laughs> the lines to make it look that way. Very simple. She did the same down at the bottom. It almost looks molten on there. Yeah, it's it does. It looks like it's embossed with an stunning. embossing powder. Yeah, just stunning. Beautiful, okay. and you can really see that uh, that shine, the luster that the metallic powder gives. Happy everything. Just want to point out that there on the border or on the uh, fold mm -hmm. are the uh, thin line dazzles, and there are 63 in a package. They come in multiple colors. This happens to be black, but it does a nice job of duplicating the black and just giving right. you another little piece of it, as does um, matting this green on that's black. That's a good point. And you, when you say duplicating the black, mm -hmm. you know, when I start a card, I'll start on the focal, what's going to be my main piece, and I start sort of working out from with there and find a paper that's working with it, and then the last thing I do is look at my dazzles and what's going to accent the <laughs> colors I already have. Because it's an easy that's accent. That's why I have every color of dazzles <laughs> available for and when I do same that. Same thing on the inside, and I think I this is that. a really nice is that you can just take pieces of it, which I I don't really think of right. doing that, so it's nice to have that. Folder. Yeah, yeah. That emboss reminder. a whole piece, just cut out the focal that you want, just paint that. I love that. It's really, really nice. You can see that's just, and again, it's offset just mm -hmm. like the entire image is. Now we have one more technique using a different product. So we're going to go into stencils. Okay. This is our lace stencil. And look at this beauty. Beautiful. Wow. And this is adding our Bohemian Dreams scrapbooking dazzles as well. That's what you're seeing on the center. But in the background, you see that stencil. And isn't that gorgeous? Wow. So pretty. Now, okay. that is starting with, oh, are you going to open it first? Or oh, I'll I open wait? it. OK. <laughs> this is a gatefold card. So we have this on this side and there. Uh -huh. And then we have some papers and dazzles on the inside, as you said. Just little accents Bohemian on Dreams. the inside. So just make a gatefold and then you can cut that piece down the center. We're going to start with watercolor paper. So I've got the stencil on here can and I, I actually, the stencil? oh yeah, please. Okay, so it's the lace stencil as right. you can probably guess. <laughs> right, and it's that large stencil, it's an yeah. overall lace pattern and I've got, uh, what do we call this? Repositionable tape. Repositional <coughs> adhesive. Right. I use this on the back of this in a few places because I really want that stencil to sit down so we can get those white areas defined. I'm actually going to put some of this over on the side, a little bit of the mandarin and some of the rows. I've been using a lot of it. <laughs> I think I'm going to need a little bit more. And I think what I'll do is add a little bit of water to those because it helps them to blend into the paper better. A little bit of water. And then I'm going to use a sponge and start applying those. Get that out here. And here we go, right through the stencil. I'm doing this because I don't want too much liquid. Oh, I'm using one. I'm changing colors already. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want too much liquid underneath that stencil. I really want the stencil just to sit in place so I can get um, a good coverage mm -hmm, without right. it going underneath the stencil. Makes sense. I feel like I need a little bit more already. And I've been using, we were using, we used a lot of this on the scrapbook page and on some other, we did all <laughs> of the projects you see, plus you see us doing this here. <laughs> so it's already sort of, okay, there we go. And I would make sure that I had coverage all over the entire piece before I lift that stencil. But it does look like it's blending pretty well, it does. doesn't it? does. It's mm -hmm. actually pretty. I didn't, I was afraid that if I didn't spritz it with water that it wouldn't blend, but I, but I think it's blending yeah. nicely. And I can really see the luster sitting on top of everything. I know you might not be able to see that, but there's a lot of it there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and lift it. 
Oh, there. So okay. you do get quite a bit of the, the pattern that we're looking for in between. If you get it too watery, it's going to get a little bit too muddy. But you know, you can let this dry and afterwards you can add a little bit of inking highlights if you want it and to actually, look a little more like Debbie's that's card. That's what Debbie did. So letting this dry and then in the areas where it's white, you're going to go back on and dab in um, right. <clears throat> distress the, ink. Yeah, I believe she used the Tim Holtz mini ink. Uh, set number one. Oh, she did more ink, ink oh, right? Distressing okay. in the background a little bit, so that you still get the luster, and then just adding that to right. fill in. And that so. doesn't remove the luster. Obviously, you can see that it yeah. stayed regardless of the inking. It's <clears> beautiful. <throat> and then just the uh, on the center of this. We, uh, the colored in pieces that were done separately, you can just paint on some orange and back a dazzle, paint on pink and back the rest of that dazzle. So absolutely very, very beautiful. Pretty. Very <coughs> vibrant look with those liquid metals. So you can yeah, so sponge them ones. on. Yeah, sponge them on through a stencil. You right. can add them to Color B by swiping. You can do embossing folders. And embossing folders. And you can do cutting dies and stamps. Right. And of course, our favorite dazzles are going to be beautiful. Right. I love the small stamps. I love the, the whole, it's just beautiful. <laughs> it the is metallic <coughs> look. Very pretty. All liquid metals is what it's called.